Good morning and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas 2021. If you're new, my name is Carol. My Ravelry name is Knits and Pearls and I live in the Fraser Valley of British Columbia, Canada, where we have recently had over two weeks of unprecedented rain and flooding. So uh, my day has not got off to the greatest start. First thing, I woke up about a half an hour later than I usually do, and I never like to do that. I have a lot of things to do today. Uh, you can see the second reason behind me. Our lake has returned to our backyard. When I went to bed last night, the water was just along the tree line back there, maybe just a little bit into our yard. It's now come up over the shed pad again. Uh, thankfully, only a couple of inches at this point. Uh, two weeks ago we had a foot of water in there. Thankfully we uh, took out all the things that um, couldn't be in there, our uh, lawn equipment, our lawnmower and weed eater etc are now in our garage drying out. Uh, so I'm not too worried about damage or anything. I'm just hoping it doesn't get too close to the house. Uh, we are expecting some more rain today uh, before it tapers off tomorrow and I think we have at least a couple of dry days after that uh, but I know from experience that uh, even after the rain stops the water levels can still rise so I normally like to wake up oh, sit down have a cup of tea and do some knitting but because I'm running late already and there is a break in the weather I'm gonna get my walk in before the rain starts again so once I've you know cleaned up and had breakfast I'll check in with you again because I have uh, advent things to open talk to you later this is just around the corner from where I live believe it or not it's an improvement over last time when it reached the whole way across the road but uh, if I walk my usual route I'd be walking through water on the sidewalk over there Once again, our neighbor's yard is full of water. So far their driveway is clear and has not gotten anywhere near where it was last week, so that's good. And here we are, just coming up to my house. We got a little bit of water here in the curbside, but nothing, thankfully, nothing to worry about. I guess it's December now. I should uh, change out my wreath for a winter one. What do you think? There, that's better. <laughs> it actually does not feel like winter out here at all. It's quite warm and that's part of the problem is the higher temperatures are melting the snow on the mountains and contributing to the um, flow into our rivers and streams. Here's a better look at our neighbor's house. You can see all the water pooling in their front yard. Last time, a couple weeks ago, the driveway was entirely covered and there was water all the way around the back of the house too. So let's hope it doesn't get to that state again. It's pretty scary. Hello again. It is about 11.30 and I finally sitting down and I'm going to have a cup of tea. This is very late for my first cup of tea. As I mentioned, normally I like to ease into my day by having some tea and doing some knitting, but I am really glad that I decided to go for a walk when I did because it started to rain soon after I got home. It is not raining at the moment, but we are expecting rain for the majority of the day and the evening. So I think it's going to be a bit of a dark and gloomy day, but hopefully also a cozy one too. Um, before I do a little bit of knitting, I thought I would talk about what Vlogmas is going to look like this year. I confess I am feeling very disorganized this time around. Normally by this time I've uh, 
uh, created a new title screen and I've picked out some Christmassy music for the intro and exit and I have not even begun to do that yet. Um, I've also failed to finalize my choice for a project to make with my holiday mini collection this year and if you've watched in years past you know that I like to knit on that a little bit each day. So all of those things are on the to-do list for today. Um, I am also hoping to warp up my loom for a new project. I uh, just finished a scarf for my daughter for Christmas and I want to uh, weave a scarf for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is early in January, but um, we'll likely be celebrating our winter birthdays in late December. So um, that's also on the to-do list. Um, I am not doing a chocolate advent calendar this year and I thought in its place I would instead uh, think up 24 things that are good. Do my normal something good segment but one for each of the 24 days. A lot of them will be holiday related but not necessarily. We'll see what comes up as the days unfold. Uh, it can be a stressful and lonely time for a lot of people and I thought it might be a good thing to focus on some positive things, bring some positive energy into this time leading up to the holidays. So uh, there are several contenders for day one, but I've decided that my something good for day one of Vlogmas is Christmas mugs. I generally hold off with anything Christmassy until December 1st. And so um, I got this mug a few years ago from my brother-in-law for Christmas uh, from David's Tea. And so you can see it's got the Christmas ornaments on it, which makes it a Christmas mug in my opinion. So I have a nice hot cup of tea here and I can't wait to, to have more than just a couple of sips that I've had so far. Uh, but let's open my um, Advent collection for the day. So if you're new, first of all, welcome. Uh, I, uh, for the third year in a row, have ordered the holiday mini collection from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. And um, it has 24 little packages. We have a, it will have a 10 gram mini every day. In addition to that, I ordered the full skein that I can open on Christmas Day. And this year there's also a few extras included. So that's what I'm going to open first and then I'll open day one's mini. So this says Winter Magical Extras the Winter Magical Collection. And this year I ordered mine on the Bedazzled Base, which is a um, superwash wool, um, merino wool and nylon with some silver stellina in it. So I want to find some sort of shawl or scarf that's quite elegant that will really uh, make the most of the sparkly yarn. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm, maybe I'll start with this one. Oh, it has a little uh, jingle going to it. It's a tin. Ooh, it's a tin. It says Winter Magical. Fiber Nip Dye Works. I couldn't read that backwards and it's too far away on the screen. Love that picture. It's got a nice screw on lid. Ooh, let's see. A little note. Ooh, 
It says, winter magical helpful goodies. Having the right tools on hand can make the difference between a pleasant experience and one that is less so, both in making and in life. Enclosed in this tin are some of my favorite snips for when you need to cut away that which isn't needed anymore. There they are. There's a little pair of snips. I've never had these, so I think they will be very handy. A tapestry needle for joining things together and taking care of loose ends. There it is. Oh, and it's my favorite kind with the little um, curve on the end. And I love that it's tucked into this piece of red flannel. Stitch markers, both ring and removable, to keep track of where you've been and where you're going. It's just, <laughs> they're all little twisted up. There we go. You can see some of the light bulb stitch markers. And I love these kind that have the little um, beads on the, oops, let's see if I can get that show properly. There we go. This, this kind, whoops, uh, <laughs> where's this camera? There we go. I like that kind. It might be a little bit blurry. I think you get the idea. Oh, this is perfect too. Emery board to smooth away the rough edges and avoid tedious snags. Add some of your favorites too. I have um, a cup here that sits on the table beside me with pens, scissors, and I always have emery boards in there because um, they definitely come in handy. I love that I can now carry one with me in an oceans tin. That's perfect. What a great idea. All right. So I will definitely be adding a few things in here, like probably um, some, um, what do you call them, point protectors to put on the end of my needles so my knitting doesn't slide off and various other things. Okay, oh, I dropped one. Okay, let's do this one next. This is so fun. It's like early Christmas. break it says it's a busy time of year so this magical little goodie is here to invite you to take a wee break in your day sit for a few minutes with a cup of tea and a cookie and just breathe close your eyes and enjoy some music or the sounds of nature or just silence if that's what you crave remember amidst the busyness to take care of you so there is some peppermint cheer tea and there's a little cookie, I guess, in here. Belgium boys picked me up. Just occurred to me that if you are um, also getting this holiday collection, I might be posting spoilers. So I will definitely put a spoiler alert here if uh, people want to open these at a different time and don't want to have their surprise ruined. All right, final one. Love this little bag, isn't that pretty? I um, have a, various bags like this and I will put uh, earrings and things in them when I go traveling. That would be gorgeous. This is a spark. I have one too. I keep it on a bookshelf near my bed. 
where I can see it every morning. It reminds me to believe in myself. It reminds me that I have a creative energy inside me that I can rely on. It reminds me that I'm doing uniquely capable, or pardon me, it reminds me that I am uniquely capable of doing the things that are important to me. And sometimes it reminds me that I need to rest so that my spark and I can both fill back up and be able to take on the world tomorrow. I have made this spark for you because I thought maybe you could use these reminders too. Thank you, Lisa. That's an awesome idea. I'm going to put it here beside where I knit because this is my little spot in the living room and my little spot in the house that uh, I sit in the most. So that is a really cool idea. I know Lisa does some woodworking, so that's really neat. Oops, gonna have to get used to where the camera is on here. So yeah, I'm gonna put this right over here where I can see it every day. All right, it is time for the first mini. And I did kind of cheat and put it near the top, but then I think I moved everything else around <laughs> since then. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, day one. This is always so fun. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I love all the colors in this. This is so me. Purple, pink, some gray, some bit of, looks like a bit of a grayish blue. Not sure how well the colors are going to come out. They're being a little bit, uh, it's not quite the same. They're a little bit softer than what you see. But I have a feeling I'm going to be struggling with lighting all day today and probably all through Vlogmas. It's just the nature of this time of year and the fact that I am not recording where I normally do. But oh, okay, now I really, really need to find the perfect project um, if this is the mood that's being set. So. I am now going to cast on my uh, Christmas socks for this year and I've got them in this bag that I made a few years ago. Love the cardinals and chickadees in the snow and I'm actually going to be knitting some fiber nymph dye works yarn up for these also there's her label and this is the cozy mountain christmas colorway um, i always want to say rocky mountain christmas but it's cozy mountain christmas it's uh inspired by uh, lisa's home in the mountains and um it is on the uh, Mountain, Twe Mountain Tweed BFL, yes, I'm right, base. And then I have this uh, natural mini that I'm gonna use for the heels. So I have uh, yesterday, I was prepared enough yesterday to wind them up into two matching skeins. So I'm going to cast the, these on and work on them uh, to on two separate needles, but concurrently. And hopefully by Christmas day, I'll have a new pair of Christmas socks to wear. That is the plan. So that is it for now. I am going to enjoy this cup of tea and get those socks going and I'll check in with you later. Welcome to my kitchen. It is a little bit after five o'clock and I've been sitting here at my kitchen table most of the day working on Vlogmas production elements. So as you will have already seen, I did come up with a new Vlogmas title screen and picked out some music. 
That always takes me way longer than I anticipate, but I proactively created title screens for days one through 24. So from now on, it'll be much easier. I'll just plug things in as I need them. I won't need to start from scratch. I did, uh, as I mentioned, sit down late this morning and cast on uh, my Cozy Mountain Christmas socks. So as you can see, I haven't got too much done. I cast them on, did a few rounds of ribbing, but they're starting out with this beige color and going into a dark forest green. You may be able to hear a little bit of wind. Uh, the rain held off more or less most of the day, but it's coming down pretty well now and it's uh, windy to boot. So I think we're in for a little bit of a stormy night. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to uh, get onto Ravelry and uh, choose a pattern for my Advent holiday collection, but um, I plan to do that later. I have a feeling my loom is not going to get warped today, but maybe tomorrow. I can do most of it myself, but I need my husband Cameron to, um, to help me tension it as I wind the warp onto the loom. Plus, I need to kind of tear apart this my kitchen table to do it. I end up attaching the loom to a bookshelf and then lining it up with the uh, peg on the end of my kitchen table. So it's quite the production. Not quite as easy as just casting on a pair of socks. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, finish editing today's Vlogmas episode. I have put a few clips together already, um, but I'll do that and then it'll be time to start getting supper ready and so i think i'm going to call that it for vlogmas day one a little bit uh scrambled but um that's kind of my life these days so cross fingers we don't get too much more rain overnight and that the water doesn't creep up too much uh, my daughter's house has um, their backyard has uh, more water than last episode a couple of weeks ago they've had a pump going so I'm hoping for their sake too that the pump's able to keep up with it. They live on an island much closer to the river and so I think their water table is just higher at this point than it was a couple of weeks ago because we've had so much rain and water in our rivers. So yeah that's it for today. I will see you again tomorrow.